Hi there and welcome to today's tutorial on secondary economic activities and we're going to look at the role of women in industry and how it's actually changing. For this, for the examination of a junior cert, you need to know a case study for a developed country and a case study for a developing country. Today I'm going to look at a case study for a developed country, it's going to be Ireland, and a case study for a developing country, I'm going to look at China. So, for a developed country, we're going to look at Ireland, and the role of women in the industry has changed in both developed and developing countries. In developed countries, so Ireland for example, many women are paid in employment outside of the home. Most live in urban areas because that's where job opportunities are greatest. So the first change we're going to look at uh, that's been made since 1970 is equality laws. Okay, so the first one is going to be equality laws. And because of these equality laws, this has meant that women now has, have more rights and access to education. However, a downside of this means that there's three times so three times more women are employed in part time compared to men in part time. The second reason is because of family planning. So because women are, family, are, are planning their families more, they're having smaller families and are less tied to traditional roles. However, a downside to this is that even today, more men still uh, occupy higher positions in the workforce. So more men of higher jobs. The third one is because of education. So since 1970, education became free, so it gave a chance for both men and women to have free education, which if they became more educated, then there was more chance for them going on and achieving a much higher skilled job. The fourth one is because of attitude. Attitudes have changed. So these attitudes have changed in society and more and more women are now going on to university and then going on to achieve these higher skilled jobs and these managerial roles. One, another factor that's disappointing however, is that even though they might get um, these manufacturing jobs, women actually earn less than men. So even to today, they still earn less than men in manufacturing sector. Okay, so I want you to look at these two pie charts. So it shows uh, the workforce of men and women, and it shows how the full-time and part-time percentage for each one. So for men for full time, you can see 93% of the workforce that, of men that is working are full time. 7% are part time. Have a look at this contrast to, uh, to women. 69% of women that are working are full time, while a huge 31% are actually part time. So one in every three women that are working in the workforce are actually part time. And that's a huge difference when you compare it to the males of 7%. The second pie chart shows the amount of workforce in Ireland. So it shows that we have 59% of the workforce is male and 41% is female. Huge increase in the last number of years. But then if you, if you look at the other pie chart, it shows that even though more women are working, less, there's a lot more women part-time compared to males that are part-time. So the second thing you need to know is you need to know how the, the role of a woman in the workforce has changed in a developing country. A developing country that I've chosen is China. And one of the ways in which the role of women have, has changed in China 
is that women now have predominant roles in local politics, where they sit on committees to plan economic and social targets. So, let's say they're on committees. So because these women in China are on these committees, they now have a huge input into local politics and they plan the economic and social uh, changes that they want to make for the future. The downside of this is that women still actually perform traditional roles. So they still perform traditional roles. Traditional roles. Okay, the second point is that many educated women occupy jobs with very high status, such as teachers, doctors, nurses, and so on. Uh, women uh, high status jobs, high status jobs. However, there are still plenty of women in China that still are very underpaid and work in extremely poor conditions in sweatshops. So this hasn't changed completely. Still women working in sweatshops. Okay, and the last one is that women now play an important role in the community healthcare, such as vaccination campaigns and so on. So play in healthcare. So they play an important role in healthcare in the local community, such as vaccinations. And one more uh, negative to the current status of women is women do much of the repetitive farm work in the community. So they do a lot of farm work in the community. Okay, so that's us looking at the role of women in the workforce for two case studies. One is for a developed country, and I've chosen Ireland, and the second is for a developing country in which we've looked at China. We've looked at positive positives and negatives of the current situation and the changes that have been made since the last 40 years. So here's just a little picture of women um, in the workforce in China and as you can see there's hundreds of women here working in the manufacturing industry in China. Let's just put that here.